Welcome back. It's not just Sachin Tendulkar. Onions have also hit a century. That's right. In your neighborhood, from this evening, Onions, it seems, is all uh, set to touch the 100 mark. In the wake of soaring prices of onions, the government has suspended onion exports till the 15th of January and has also called for an emergency meeting to discuss the issue on the 15th. Agriculture Cooperative Major, NAFID, a regulatory agency, has been asked to stop giving fresh clearances to export. The decision to suspend exports was taken at an emergency meeting today in the capital. This is the first time ever in the country that onion prices have touched a whopping 80 rupees per kg in the wholesale market. And onion prices were actually just last week about 35 to 40 rupees a kg, which means that has been a serious stand in with an increase of about a hundred percent. In fact, uh, in Chennai and in surrounding areas, it has touched the 70 to 80 rupees mark. Farmers blame the rising prices of, uns of uh, onions over the unseasonal rains in the areas which produce onions in the country and that has affected a lot of crop loss in these areas. Well, let's now go across straight to Mr. C. Balakrishnan, the president of uh, the Tamil Nadu Farmers Association. He joins us live. Thank you very much, Mr. Balakrishnan, for joining us. Uh, my first question to you, sir, uh, the obvious and the most predictable uh, answer that uh, the Farmers Association and, of course, by large, uh, uh, the public would understand is the fact that we've seen uh, unseasonal rains uh, in the last few days, which has led to uh, crop loss. How badly is the farmer affected and would you agree uh, that... When I pay about 100 rupees per kilo for onions, the farmer gets all that money. See, the real problem of a recent price hike about the vegetables. All the prices of the, all the, prices of all the vegetables is, is rising very fastly. Uh, today the market rate uh, of per kg onion is around 100 rupees and tomorrow it will go up. So the main reason for this hike of uh, price of the vegetable is, one first thing is in the, for the past so many years, the area of cultivation has, is coming uh, day by day down, decreasing. Because there are a lot of problem, no power, no water supply and uh, no remunerative price for the uh, vegetables. Because of these various reasons, the area of cultivation has come down very sharply. And now the continuous rain and flood has affected enormous, um, uh, enormous uh, area of uh, vegetables have been uh, affected by the flood. The total area of onion cultivation has been perished by the floods. So the, all the other vegetables also, the drumstick and other vegetables also, the flowers have withered because of the continuous rain. So because of these two reasons, recent flood and already because of so many problems, the area of cultivation has come down. So the, uh, the vegetable uh, production is uh, very decreasing. Because of this, the, for the price is very increasing very fastly. Actually, the, 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 the serious thing is, on the one hand, the consumer has to pay much uh, amount for to get vegetables. But at the same time, we cannot say that all the amount is going to the, to the producer, that is the farmer. The farmers are in the pitiable situation because their investment has gone away. The onion cultivation, plant, uh, banana. And other, that's all, right. All the that's right. Um, I agree with you completely, uh, Mr. Balakrishnan. In fact, blame it on the rain uh, seems to be the easiest thing to do. Uh, let's go across to Mr. V R Soundarajan, who joins us on the phone line, the president of the Wholesale Onion Traders uh, Association from Coimbedu. Uh, sir, thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, onion really causing a huge tears to all of us, including you. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure uh, you two make onion pakoras at home, but that's not uh, uh, that's not a necessity really, a luxury indeed during the rainy season. What do you blame? Do you blame uh, your usual complaint which has been that Coembed market does not have cold storage and so uh, vegetables cannot really be stored, particularly onion? Hello? Mr. Sandarajan Radhika, this side. 
what exactly uh, what exactly do you blame for uh, the increasing prices of onion are you saying that uh, cold storage which has been your usual demand your demand for quite some time now do you now say that it's high time that cold storage be provided for uh, the market Rajan, let's now go across to uh, Mr. Rajagopal, who of course uh, is uh, belongs to the Sangeeta chain of restaurants, um, a vegetarian uh, restaurant and uh, I'm sure these days are not really great for you considering uh, vegetables are really soaring uh, at the moment, have touched the rooftop. In fact, no vegetable in Chennai, we can tell you, after a recce that we've done in, market, uh, uh, in markets in the city, cost anything less than 30 rupees a kilo. So Mr. Rajagopal, is it now inevitable that restaurants will hike or rather change uh, the menu cards and increase the tariff, uh, the rates of uh, different dishes? Usually, there will be delayed for some time uh, to see whether the price come down. Uh, to a certain extent, we can uh, be told to increase the prices, but uh, it's never, uh, ultimately, rising the prices is a uh, only <coughs> solution for us. Mr. Rajagopal, I request you to hold on to us before we uh, uh, before we let you go. Let's go across to Mr. Balakrishnan, who uh, I may ask uh, another question. Mr. Balakrishnan, should the government interfere now in different states in the southern uh, in southern states, for instance, in Andhra Pradesh, you have Raitu Bazaar, which means the farmers' market, where uh, where the where the crop is procured from the farmer straight and given to the consumer to ensure that there's no middlemen crisis here. Similarly, in Kerala, for instance, there's Supply Co. In Karnataka, for instance, there's the Karnataka horticulture. Do you think the government would, should now interfere to ensure that from Kolar, which is the main marketplace which, which where, where we procure vegetables from, from Kolar to Coimbed, when vegetables come, they don't really cost six times more. Do you think the government should about time interfere? Yeah, the, the government should come forward. Definitely it must be intervened because on the one side the farmers are affected. On the other side, the consumers are very seriously affected. See, the government cannot be a spectator in this serious affair. So, we already, what we are demanding is, in all the vegetable producing areas, they have to open the cold storage facility. Already the government has, repeat, has repeatedly announced that they will open the cold storage, but nothing has been done. They have also instructed private owners to open the cold storage, but they have also done nothing. So the main thing is the farmer should be, uh, the cold storage should be open to all the places. And second thing, the flood relief, still the government has not announced any flood relief to the, uh, uh, to the farmers who are, who are uh, suffering because of the uh, loss, of, uh, loss of vegetables by the floods. So the, only the, the government has announced a relief amount to the paddy and some other crops. Not, no horticultural crops have been announced any relief and so also the government should procure the vegetables and they can transport to the market and they can distribute to the uh, consumer to buy the fair price shops in kerala there is maveli bazaar maveli kara bazaar maveli bazaar in which all the in all the ration shop fair price shops vegetables are also distributed even now even now in tamil nadu the government is procuring milk from the producers and distributing the milk to the consumers by, pro by, pro by processing and protecting the milk for three or four days. So if the milk can be pro procured and distributed to the consumers, why not the government should uh, procure the vegetables from the farmers and distribute to the consumers? If That's they right. 
That's right. That's a very pertinent point, uh, Mr. Balakrishnan, that you're making. While the government can procure milk, because milk again is a perishable commodity, while it can procure milk and it can sell away milk at uh, a subsidized price, why not vegetables? And why is Tamil Nadu government waiting yet before the other states in the south, for instance, have uh, uh, have really intervened in this very issue and taken on? For instance, in Kerala, in Andhra Pradesh, and of course in Karnataka, the government has intervened, has uh, increased the MSP and even uh, provided with shops, stores such as the Raitu Bazaar or the Supply Co or the horticulture of Karnataka in respective states where the produce is there right from the farmer, is procured from the farmer and brought back to the consumer straight and to ensure that the farmer gets his money and the consumer is not feeling the pinch as well. Very pertinent point made there by Mr. Balakrishnan. Let's go across to uh, Mr. Rajagopal there. You were saying you're going to wait, uh, you're going to adopt the wait and watch policy, uh, but a, but a very uh, but a very as a curious uh, person, someone who eats out very often, uh, we did hear of reports that 15 to 20 percent is the hike that we would see from restaurant owners on uh, the menu cards, the new menu cards. Are you almost making it sound as if kadai vegetable is now going to cost as much as kadai chicken? Kadai vegetable is one of the dishes uh, that is used by. Uh, a little higher, high, upper middle class and higher class persons. The, here, the main main uh, persons com, uh, affected is the common man. And we, as a chain of hotel where we have AC attached uh, um, um, uh, halls uh, in which we increase the price in AC restaurants so that to maintain uh, the same prices in the non AC section. That too, to a certain extent, we can uh, be sold on because uh, when our average uh, vegetable cost uh, per day uh, jumps almost double. We have to take some uh, decision about it. We can't uh, just uh, go under loss. All right, thanks, Mr. Rajagopalan. Uh, we understand that it's uh, it's clearly a sticky wicket for you. You cannot compromise on your quality. Kadai vegetable does not come without the onions and uh, the capsicum. And so it is in inevitable, it seems, for you to increase your prices. So that's bad news again for uh, the consumers and those who love to eat outside, particularly for the vegetarians who always believe that their meal comes cheaper than those of uh, the non-vegetarians. Let's, in fact, go across to a very interesting package that we've made out to make you understand how difficult it is and perhaps most housewives who are watching this are going to relate to this. The days that vegetables will turn into ornaments are not too far away. Onion pakodas are far cry during the rainy season. Murunga ka sambar uh, which is um, the most favorite for all of us here in Tamil Nadu will again be a luxury during this season considering drumsticks have now touched a whopping 130 rupees per kilo which means per drumstick you will have to pay about 8 rupees. Carrot halwa again becomes uh, a, a million bucks now before uh, you can actually relish that very uh, tasty delicacy, for instance, Lokpriya, my colleague, shops along with Sheila, a housewife in Chennai, who ends up spending too much for too little. Perturbed about the rice and vegetable prices, a lot of people are uh, thinking twice before buying vegetables. I am now joined by Sheila, a homemaker. We both are outside a vegetable market in Velacheri. Her budget for today is 100 rupees. With the increase in vegetable prices, she's really perturbed of how much she can actually buy. Let's find how much she can actually buy with 100 rupees. For three months, that we have 100 rupees. Today, <laughs> It's indeed a nightmare for many people like Sheila to go for vegetable shopping. With the prices of vegetables increasing at an alarming rate, they are worried whether their dishes will be healthy. They only hope that vegetable prices will reduce or at least be available at a nominal cost. In Chennai, Lok Priya, 
NDTV Hindu. I quite like the Vivek style dialogue uh, of Sheila there, the housewife who said that uh, earlier it would be uh, uh, tears only when you cut the onions but now you think of it and you can get tears in your eyes. I hope, uh, I hope of course uh, that Mr. Rajagopalan is listening to us. Anyway, nevertheless, thank you Mr. Rajagopalan for joining us. Uh, Mr. Rajagopalan there joining us on this very show, giving us a perspective and also saying that it's inevitable now that restaurants will have to hike their uh, menu. Thank you Mr. Soundarajan for giving us that insight and again pressing the demand for uh, cold storage in the Coimbed market and Mr. Balakrishnan who gave us that insight and made sure that uh, he made that point very pertinent on behalf of the farmers that let there be an intervention from the Tamil Nadu government. Let's pull up a graphics plaque for you now. So how much have the prices gone up this week of vegetables really? While onions have gone up from 48 rupees last week to a whopping 75 rupees this week, that's a price uh, hike of almost 80%. Tomatoes have uh, seen a 10 rupees hike going up to 34 rupees from the previous week's 24. Carrot halwa will again not be such a great option like we were saying because prices of carrot has gone up to 52 rupees from 40 rupees last week and ladies finger has gone up to 30 from 30 rupees to 47 this week. Brinjals are at 37 from 15 rupees which is more than a hundred percent hike. The drumstick is what walks away with the priciest vegetable award. It has gone up from 60 rupees a kilo to 130 rupees a kilo, which means you get one single drumstick for as much as 8 rupees. Coriander, in fact, uh, is at 12 rupees a bunch, and then the bunch seems very, very little, almost as bad as uh, my fragile, thin looking hair. Moving on, let's go across to Bama, who's a seasoned cook, and, and this is the most interesting aspect. And I was waiting for this part of the bulletin because we know that the problem is there, the solution will take a while, the emergency meeting is only on the 15th. But Bama, can you give us uh, some tips? What exactly have you planned for the week? We need to make sure that we don't spend as much, but also ensure that we don't cut out on our delicacies and the nutrition that we take. So give us a few tips on how exactly to uh, plan the menu for the week ahead. Something for our housewives who are watching the show, please. Uh, yeah, Radhika, uh, cooking something without onions, drumstick, uh, with a, a sambar without drumstick, very tall order in fact. But actually you can juggle it around with let's say toss in some roasted nuts like chana or uh, even uh, groundnuts and uh, make do with some uh, uh, fried uh, papad and you sort of uh, conjure up a very uh, interesting dish and luckily this being the month of margari in Chennai there's a lot of uh, eating out and there's a lot of uh, uh, staying away from onion and garlic as well because quite a few households make the trip to Shabarimala. So all in all, you know, it is a manageable situation, I would say. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Bama. It, it, in, uh, it in fact was an interesting tip. Uh, Chole, after all, for a change with Puri is not such a bad idea. Thanks very much for joining us uh, and our uh, different guests who joined us on the show. That's all we have time for on this special bulletin. Up next is news with Saudamani in Tamil. Goodbye.